Coast is looking lovely. It's uh, it's a little bit chilly, uh, north winds, but you can see the sun's trying to get out there. But beyond it, it's raining. <laughs> so we might get a little bit of rain today, but it's April, April showers as they say. So uh, expect all four seasons in literally one day or even the same hour to be fair sometimes in England uh, so yeah hopefully that sun manages to make its way out that's a good old thick cloud there is there is some blue sky in amongst so we'll see but yeah sea's looking lovely it's not uh, not too rough so right down on the beach and uh, I come down in the, uh, the jet rock part of uh, this particular location usually these, uh, these locations are quite remote. They can involve uh, some serious ropes. So yeah, some serious rope climbs sometimes to, uh, to get down. So in the interest of safety, um, yeah, I don't really give locations out when uh, uh, we have that. I mean, that rope is tied to a rock which is about to fall off. I didn't actually use that rope because uh, it looked too dangerous. Yeah, we just don't want people to have an accident really. So um, you need to get some experience or go with uh, somebody who uh, knows what they're doing. Um, so yeah, this is the um, Falsiferum zone. So it's uh, slightly higher than uh, the stuff that you get at Sands End. It's what you find in the cliff at Sands End. And, and yeah, you get these similar jet rock nodules, pyrite skinned, um, except these contain usually Harposerus. See, there's actually a grass isle. Forget that to focus. A little grass isle I'm a night wearing out there. So yeah, I think you can get Nodicolosaurus, which are the um, chunkier ones. And yeah, it's mainly Harposaurus, but at the moment there doesn't look to be too many nodules about. Wow, and this has changed quite significantly, so you can see where everyone normally climbs up with their spiky boots. There's all the little uh, scrapes on there. And this big rock has tumbled down the hill, taken out that one and the corner of this one. So yeah, that's, uh, that's a fresh fall, is that? So again, that's not stopped until it's, uh, wow, it's totally uh, devastated that, that rock there, wow see the rock that did it I think that fresh one just down there so that's rolled that's rolled from up there somewhere all the way down properly smashed that up wow you would not want to be in the way of that if it was uh, hurtling towards you so there's quite a lot of uh, undulation on the uh, Yorkshire coast so through the millennia uh, about 200 million years of its history uh, there's been fault lines and uplifts, uh, erosion, uh, and things go up and down and get a bit crinkly, should we say. Uh, but uh, this particular section is an interesting section because the beds down here are the, um, the higher beds. And as we go along, we're gently dipping down and get into the lower beds. So at this point, can see there is I think that'll be a whale stone I'll have to remember what bed that is because I can never remember but I think it'll be somewhere around 36 37 um, I'll have to go check my notes could do with a handy printed guide to remember which which bed the, the different stones go in but that's that's a whale stone definitely I'm pretty sure um, it's either a whale stone or a millstone but again I'll check and compare when I get home uh, so these are the higher beds and as we go in Along this way, we're going through the jet rock, uh, and eventually we'll we'll get to the, uh, the basal bed 32, and we'll get to the tenucostatum zone, um, and so on. So yeah, it's quite interesting to see the different nodules. So because we're in the higher beds here, you would expect to find Harposaurus, and I have found Harposaurus here, uh, but never found a full one. So keep looking, because you never know. One day one might get washed up. But you can see the the nodules in the bed just uh, just like at Sands End but this stuff would be in the cliff at Sands End rather than uh, in the actual base itself so there's a, a nodule that's got a bit of thickness to it so 
that might be worth a little tap. Well, I think someone's already had a go at it by the looks of it. There's not really any signs, so I'll probably leave that. So yeah, and then you can find, obviously, anything that's uh, younger will be in the cliff face, drops out with erosion. So Dax, Hildes, etc. Um, they can be found just littered around because they drop out the cliff. And uh, we find them ex situ. Again, that's a, a worn out Dax there. Yeah, we find them ex situ, uh, dropped out of the cliff. In these sort of areas where all the shale and pebbles gather. So, yeah, keep looking if I find anything. I shall be back to you. So, it's a game of uh, spot the fossil. Have we uh, seen it yet? There it is. Unfortunately, that is not fully complete. So, it's not going to be one to take, but again, you can see, it's come out of that bit of shale. And they'll always preserve, so can't be helped, but we'll leave that one, see if we can find a full one. Right, it's always worth looking around, in case there's any others that have dropped out, from a distance obviously, I see, an, see another one there. Uh, I can see a few nodules actually. Oh, there's a nodule. Looks like it might have one in. Another one there. Again, not very well preserved. There's a double again, that one. Uh, I think that's it. Yep, that looks like that's it. But unfortunately, yeah, these again, not very well preserved. See, there's no middle in that one. There is one behind it, but this Whitby mudstone, it's not very good, to be honest. But they are multi-blocks. And same with that one. So, I'm not going to take them. Leave them for somebody else who uh, fancies a challenge with the prep. Let's move on. All right. I'm not sure what these are, but I think this might be the pseudo vertebrae. Oh, no, actually, it's not, no. Just a line of nodules. Okay. I'll have to identify them when I get back. At, uh... And there's quite a lot of variation, and then this, this location, the, uh, the nodules are a little bit different to. Uh, uh, more commonly uh, trod parts of the coast. So, yeah. So, <coughs> some squished ones. Looks like it's either a Hyposerus or Cliviserus. And probably more likely to be Hyposerus, these. Again, right zone, but just not seeing any, any nodules that are loose, so, yeah. That one there, look, that would have been a, a nice one. Shame it's crushed. So, there's a nodule there, but let me have a little tap and see. Yeah, and I think now we're just coming to bed 33, so you can see the quite dumpy uh, shaped uh, nodule holes where uh, there has been cannonballs. And there's some uh, Elegantisserus in the shale. So this is probably, this little section here is probably bed 33. As you can see, most of it's covered up with big boulders, so uh, it's unlikely any of the nodules will break free. So yeah, again, the odd nodule about, but they're all quite flat, so. Yeah, bed 33 is the, uh, the lay where you get the nice uh, elegantisserus usually. But it should continue over there in the cliff. And as we go along, it'll get higher and higher up the cliff, so nodules will drop out. So there's always a chance of collecting something as we walk along. Okay, we're coming to the uh, squashed semisolatums, which usually mean we're at the base of the jet rock. Jet rock. There's more there. Not seeing the uh, usual sheets of uh, Tiltanoceros, but yeah. 
We're almost there to, to the uh, the grey shales. Uh, yeah, lots and lots of squished semisolatums. Probably means it's bed 32. Let's see. Right, just found this uh, tenny nodule. And uh, it's quite a small one, but I think there's a small semisolatum in there. You see the ribbing. But yeah, it is a small one. Well, so far very, very barren <laughs> in terms of finds. So, yeah, heading along now, to, uh, just about to reach the uh, spinatum zone and the uh, Hoskerens sub zone. But the weather's closing in a little bit, that storm seems to be coming closer and closer. I think it's going to sail it down in a bit, so we'll see. But uh, yeah, not seeing lots of good stuff today, but that is the way sometimes it goes. I've had some quite good days recently. It could be that this is going to be a bad one. Or we might find some amazing in the next bay. You just never know, that's fossil hunting for you. So let's go see if we can find out in the next one. Yeah, I'm not even seeing any nodules I really want to hit, to be honest, today, so, yeah, not a great deal at all. And the wind's got up a bit, but there's the imprint of phosphorus, so we've reached the uh, upper plains back here. And, uh, again, you can see another one there. This is the Oscar end zone, there's a seal. There's quite a few seals recently that I've seen. Hello, seal. Oh, spot the bustle time. I found a little uh, little back in my pocket here. It's not a big one, but it's there. I don't think this is complete looking from this angle. No, it's not. It's a crack one. Ah, oh, well, never mind. Uh, so, the rain has started. I'm finding the odd little dacky dack. Which won't focus. Come on. Oh, come on. Sometimes, it's, oh, there we go, finally. So yeah, little duck there, but um, yeah, really not much. Oh, maybe today, maybe today will be a pleuro day. Yep. It's a nice little double pleuroceros. And live with that. Only small, but quite nice. Shame we just knocked a chink off that, but yeah. Not for a few more to make the day. Oh, again, shaping up to a bit of a be a bit of a pleurocerisy type of day. Partial there, and uh, there's a there's a lovely keel just in the middle there, and then there's uh, a lovely little one there. Yeah, that's a nice little uh, little slab. I'll take that. Yeah, I don't think there's all else in the rest of it. So yeah, that's nice. So I just uh, just found this uh, this lump of shelly stuff. I've just knocked off. That and I think that might be some sort of Amoraceros. I'm not sure if it's all there. I'm not sure, but there's a Pleuroceros in there, that's for certain, and I think I've broken it, which is annoying. Uh, yeah, there's another little one on the edge there. There's definitely stuff in this block, so I might give it another tap and just see if we can get some freed up. Well, the sun's cleared up a little bit. Uh, I've had a good search, not been finding a lot, but I'm just on the way back now. And can you spot the fossil? Could be a good one. I think it's a spiny, I think. But is it all there? That's the question. Oh, I don't think it is. Oh, that's a shame. So it's a Perinoceros, but it's got some crushing. I mean, actually from that side it might be a, might be an okay specimen but these do tend to be sticky so yeah I don't think it'd even because it's crushed it wouldn't even cut and polish that so that is a shame but I'm not going to take that one never mind so I'm just uh, scraping around now uh, putting off going up the hill but um, I'll give this little pebble a tap look at that what a beauty Nice way to finish the day off, so yeah, better delay no longer and head up the uh, the cliff. Alright, so spot the dax time, there's a few in here actually. Yeah. Must 
to be a little uh, point where uh, gaps are gathering. I don't think they're very good ones. We got one there. Right, a little split. And we've got one here. Just a partial. And we've got one there. Just a partial. We've got one there. Just a partial. And there's loads of little bits all over. Again, that might have a middle lap. Alright. Yeah, a few little bits. 